Guys, whatever God have joined together in this life, let no man put asunder. Because no matter how you try to put asunder, the asunder can go consume you. You see our Olori Auntie Ebira this time, did you look at her face? <laughs> this is how they said her face has always been these days. Even after all the makeup, you know, they are very good at doing makeups and all of that. Yet... These days, that the uh, the 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 makeup no they come out fine again, all because a lot of things have changed. Things have changed so fast than they expected it. You know that when they when they Colombia KBC from with Naomi when they you know they thought it was going to last forever, but right now they said they are regretting that act because KBC know they look their face again. KBC know they even remember them again. No? And the good news be said, this time around, people keep saying that they saw KBC and Queen Naomi as so so uh, place. They saw KBC and Queen Naomi so so place. Even though KBC and Queen Naomi are trying to make everything private until she officially returns back to the palace. But, you know, say, no matter how hard they try to, you know, even though people were unable to take pictures due to the security and all of that, but people we saw them or people we see them together, they are confessing it. So, information have it that the two of them were stumped together to, uh, yesterday in Ojaja Cinema. And the reason for that is because they said, Kabye sit down, they hand everything over to with Naomi. And I believe the other day the, we heard that um, Kabye C collected that. Uh, management from from Olori Runke, I heard allegedly that she had been the one managing that uh, resort for KBSC. So, and now that things are no longer the way KBSC anticipated it, someone like that, uh, Auntie Blue Blue, she has fought KBSC to the point that KBSC don't even need a, a seer to tell him that this woman's mission in your life is not a good one. Yes. And to think that uh, these people are fighting KBAC like this, KBAC hold them at high esteem. Because that is the only reason why you will be hearing that he gave them this uh, uh, his establishment to be managing. That uh, Adire company, they say KBAC invested a whole lot in that Adire company. And he handed it over to this uh, anti Blue Blue to be managing. And they said anti Blue Blue is making enough fortune from that uh, investment. Yet, KBS is not asking, you know? So, uh, all KBS wanted for all of them was for them to be comfortable, you know? So that uh, they won't be disturbing him with their money and all of that. And that is why you keep hearing that they, they ask KBS for so-so amount and KBS will say no. That you have your own company. Go and get it from there. So that uh, if you liquidize the one she set, he set up for you, you will not have him to blame. You have to blame yourself. So, but only recently, KBSC have found out that, no, these people did not call me what I call them. Mm -hmm. they, their mission is different, and my mission is different. Because when a man wants to marry a woman, or when a man accepted to marry a woman, no matter how the woman come in, inside, come to, uh, came to his life, the moment you accepted to marry that woman, you, you would want a good relationship, even if it is not that pure love, but at least a very good relationship where the woman will be watching your back and you'll be watching her own back too. But it has turned out to be the opposite of uh, what KBC was expecting. So for that reason, he have decided that it is high time he recollects all that he has given out to them, such that uh, those uh, um, uh, investments will be in a, a safe hands. Because if somebody is fighting you and fighting your throne, uh, the person might go as far as uh, destroying your source of livelihood in order to bring you down. Because you know that when you're fighting someone and you have the money to fight, it is different from fighting without money, you know, considering the kind of society that we are in. So right now, they said, uh, KBC have collected that cinema or Jaja this thing from Anti Blue Blue, giving it to Kinomi. And once in a while, they used to storm that place, you know, to come and have a good time. And there's another one they said is in Deki, that um, beach resort that KBC also bought in Queen Naomi's name. See, let me tell you, Queen Naomi is a gracious child. She is highly favored. The moment 
God brought Kabiesi her way, uh, regardless of her background. She know. As a matter of fact, let me just put it this way. The moment she accepted to serve God in truth and in honest, God decided to bless her. And they said the blessings of God added no sorrow. Even though temptations and trials will come, but the blessings of God added no sorrow. And I believe that one of the greatest blessings that God has given to Queen Naomi as a servant of God is getting married to Kabiesi. Forget what is going on right now. Forget all the fights, all, all of that. And to tell you that that is the truth, the fight is all clearing up one after the other. At least right now, she's no longer fighting with Kabiesi. And the elders, the oloris, the outsiders that are fighting in one way or the other, soon their own case will be settled such that we normally will enjoy the fruit of her labor. And which fruit am I talking about? The blessings of God for being a truthful servant. Yes, because when you serve God in truth and in honest, God will always bless you. You will never be in lack. That is the promise of God to his people. And this is not just a promise. It is something that uh, uh, that is obtainable. It is something that is happening. All you need to do is uh, follow God with your full chest, have a full confidence in Him, believe in Him. No matter how situation turns you today, God will always rescue you. And that is exactly what is happening. Before now, a lot of people thought that there will be no space for Queen Naomi again in the life of Kabiesi. And when we heard that uh, Toby was pregnant, a lot of people were thinking that the moment she put to bed, that Kabiesi is going to forget about Queen Naomi and uh, Tadenikawu and focus on Toby. And the moment we heard that it was a twin, say, hey, some, some of them came to my comment section now to tell you that see, you don't even know what you're saying, that the highest thing that Kabiesi is talking about right now and thinking about happens to be Toby and the, the twins. Now, what is happening? What is happening? We have been expecting that by now, that Kabiesi would have welcomed Toby and the, the twins back to the palace. But instead of doing that, he is more focused on how to bring back his son, Prince Tade Nikawu and Queen Naomi back to the palace. Isn't that the grace of God? It is the handiwork of God, my people, whether you believe it or not. And if you will agree with me, forget Juju, face God, work for God, so that if you have problem, God will come and uh, fight for you and give you victory, just like he has given to Queen Naomi right now, because God has given uh, her victory. And we are lifting the name of the Lord. Hi. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget that they are all alleged information. Subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. If you are returning subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support for me. Bye. I love you guys.